All right, guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than normal. I say that a lot, but this one's definitely gonna be different. So, the question has come up so many times, how much time do you guys spend door dashing? Can we do it full time? So I guess the question is, can you still door dash full time in 2023? Now, we do this for a living, but our needs are very different from other people. And we also have cars that are paid off. We also have this Honda Fit, which is what we run most of the time. We also can sometimes do it together. Our market is not big. It's not great, but it's definitely not terrible. So we run into a lot of the same problems that normal people do in DoorDash. So we thought we'd bring you guys a real world look at what 40 hours in DoorDash looks like. Now we're not gonna film every order because the video would be forever. But we're gonna give you an idea. Every single day we're gonna look at how much gas we used and all that. But my question to you, honey, is why, after hearing that I was gonna do this, did you volunteer to be the one to do it on your DoorDash? So then I can get a Top Dasher next month. So yes, we do carry Top Dasher every single month. It's not fun, but it just makes it so we don't have to worry about scheduling or anything else. We actually do seem to slightly get better orders. That may just be, you know, us thinking that because we do get bad orders and we will show you some of those. But we're gonna do it day by day breakdown. We're gonna do try to do about four 10 hour days. We may not get exactly 40 hours, but we're choosing days that are actually the worst of the week because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are generally the best days in our market. We're doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And, and I if think- If we need to, if we cut one of those days short, we'll pick it up on Friday. Yeah, so it's one of those things where we want to show you guys what 40 hours really looks like. We won't show you everything, but you can get an idea at the end of every day. We'll come to you, let you know what's going on and do an update. But are you ready to start this whole mess? Yes. It's going to be a challenge for me because I always multitask. Yeah. You usually, I got to be good this week. Yeah. She usually does multiple apps and just switches around, which is what works for her. I generally kind of stick to one or two apps because I feel like it's easier to deal with, but no lift for you. No GoPuff, no Uber, no nothing. No nothing, just DoorDash. Just DoorDash. So with that said, it's time to get going. I will be helping with the filming because I feel like if you guys were doing this, you'd have to deal with the camera and all this other stuff. I also will help a little bit with the driving just because this car has terrible seats in it and we've been doing a bunch of flooring and other stuff in the tiny house and we are banged up. <laughs> we are banged up, guys. So Plus you get tired of just sitting in the passenger side. So we're going to get out here. We're going to get this money made. At the end of this video, if you don't want to watch all this, just go to the end of the video and you'll see the totals and everything that we did. You ready? Let's go. Get to work. All right guys, so every day we're gonna try and give you like a little tip that helps us make or keep more of our money we make. And the number one tip for today is food and drinks. So every day we pack up a cooler if we're going out or a lunchbox or something that has like fruit, sandwiches, or meal preps, whatever. And then the big thing that saves us a ton of money is drinks. So. We got our coffee cups here. We make all of our own coffee at home. This is actually iced coffee we made. And then if you look in the back of the seats there, there is thermoses with coffee in them. And we just basically bring them with us. It costs us like a dollar to make it all with coffee and creamer and everything. But we end up having iced coffee or regular coffee all day long. We do bring some other kinds of drinks like seltzer waters or just regular water with flavoring in it, but it's so much cheaper than buying it. I cannot make people understand how much money they waste buying food or buying drinks when they're out. So tip of the day is make sure you pack your lunches or your meals and your drinks. And as you can see, we've got all kinds of goodies in there. Oatmeal, apples, meal preps, different drinks. And it's a simple, simple system 
just literally in a cooler in the back seat, not bothering anybody. Now, I would say if we went out this four day week and we're out for 10 hours, you would easily buying drinks and buying food, probably spend somewhere in the neighborhood for one person around 12 bucks, depending upon what you're eating. You could go cheap, I guess, but still, even a cup of coffee now is like a dollar. So what do you think of that order? Absolutely not. No Starbucks. Why do we not take Starbucks? Starbucks is awful to pick up from. The orders are never ready. You wait forever and the people are not nice. And what happened yesterday when we took a Starbucks order? I was there forever, like 15 minutes. 15 minutes is a long time to wait for an order. Are you here for a door dash, hon? Yep, for David A. Alright, I do want to let you know that we don't have fried mushroom sides. So we're not able to uh, get that for them and it's going to be about 10 minutes maybe. Maybe even more. Alright. And we don't have fried mushrooms due to the fried mushroom brew for it at all. If you could let them know that. Sitting with DoorDash support, second time today. So, we go to rallies, and they say they don't have mushroom sides, they don't have mushroom big Bufords. Don't have anything with mushrooms, that's fine. Customer wants a regular big Buford and fries as a substitute. What did they say? Total down charge. What did they say? Absolutely not. Rallies makes no substitutions for their customers. Now they just did the other day after you complained, right? Yes, and it was the same thing. It was a mushroom burger, Buford, and the customer just wanted a regular Buford, and they did it. So, 1.2 miles for 375. What are you gonna do with that, honey? We're gonna take it. No, you're not. <laughs> We're not. That's not funny. <laughs> so Missy just took an order for 425 from Applebee's. And I know that's a low order, but it's going right there to the mall. So she literally will pick it up here and we'll drive over there and let her out and she'll walk it into the store. These are the dumb little orders that actually make us a lot of money. They add up. Alright guys, so quick update. We're in the middle of our shift. We are five hours in and we are at $101. We've did 15 deliveries and they have averaged between $475 and $675 a delivery and between, I don't know, one and four miles probably. Alright, time to get back at it. What do you got to say about that order, honey? Absolutely not. You mean you don't want to go 4.5 miles for 2.25? No. So what are you going to do with that? I'm going to decline it.
All right, guys. So it was a really long day, honey. What do you want to? <laughs> what do you want to touch on this? Huh. This was probably one of the longest days of DoorDash that I've done. I told her this morning, once you start filming, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. It's going to be a dramatic day. <laughs> and it did. Oh but man. I think it was still a pretty successful day. We made a hundred and ninety-two dollars and six cents. In how many hours? We worked nine and a half hours. Yep. We actually got a. A ride home basically we went eight miles of the 20 mile commute back to our town with the last order that's why we cut it short early because we do commute 20 miles up and 20 miles back every day now you got some more numbers so that divided into hourly is twenty dollars and 21 cents an hour yep which is decent if you're making twenty dollars an hour you're doing good we drove 131 miles yep and we put 1804 in the gas tank to fill it back up. Yep, so which means we basically burnt $18.04 worth of gas today. Now I'll have all these numbers broke down, including taxes and everything, at the end of this video. I'm not gonna try and do that every day. Really, this is just gonna be every night we're gonna let you guys know what we made, how long it took, the mileage, and how much it cost to fill the gas tank back up. It just gives you guys a basic idea as we go through this video. I don't want this video to be 10 years long right but and at the end he'll just give you all the totals we did we did all right today um it's not our average but then again mondays and wednesdays are the two worst days in our market so like we told you guys in the beginning of the video we are working what is essentially the four worst days of the week and not the greatest of hours of them either because if you stay out late at night sometimes you can get some serious high dollar ones mm -hmm. so yeah so, the folks got the information now it's time to go eat dinner yep we done we will see you guys in the morning all right so good morning guys day two about to take off here from the house we've got a fully loaded cooler and coffee ready to go as i said big money saving tip now later in today's video we'll be explaining how we save money on gas so stay tuned for that but Let's drag our butts up here. We got a 20 mile commute. Go make some money. All right, guys. So we made it up to Lancaster and it's super dead. So we thought we'd talk about the tip of the day, which for today is how we save on fuel. So the first thing is you'll notice in some of our videos, we go to Speedway a lot. Now, there's different ways to do what we do. We just found that this is the best. So at Speedway, we have their app. And the first thing we do is they let you sign up for a monthly perk for free in the app. And we get the double fuel points. Mm -hmm. So that starts means everything we buy gets double points for the month. And you have to do that every month. Now, honey, how do we buy our gas? What do you do first? So we buy the gift cards, which we earn usually around 1,500 points for a $100 card. Buying the cards with our credit card which we'll link down in the description that we get three percent i think it is three percent three percent through our chase freedom card so we're getting three percent we're getting points for buying the gas card which are then doubled and then we take the gas cards honey well then we use them for our gas and we earn more points and then whenever we get enough points then we get either the 50 cents or a dollar off 25 gallons and no. we always make sure we get the whole 25 gallons yes we will bring gas cans or we will bring two vehicles and just move the nozzle from one vehicle to the other the thing is is a lot of people get the gas cards doing this and we've actually done the math on it and it's better to get the 50 cents or a dollar off a gallon and get the 25 gallons you actually get a better deal that way so and it is important that if you do this and you get money off a gallon that you are taking every gallon of gas they offer i think it's 25 gallons 25 gallons for for speedway. speedway now there is other ways you can go with your groceries and use points and do this we do at christmas time usually buy gift cards when they're doing the four times points at kroger's there is other ways. We've just found the Speedway to be the best deal. And the last time we went and got gas, I think we got a full dollar off and we got gas for like $2 a gallon. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we do not let a good opportunity on gas 
pass us by. So check out the Speedway app if you have Speedway in your local area. And obviously there's other ones you can check out too. Right now that's giving us the best deal. So we're gonna sit back, relax, and hopefully get an order soon. Hopefully. First order is Myers alcohol delivery at 10.30 in the morning when you get a customer it orders multiple bottles of vodka? Three. Three big bottles of vodka and asks for it to be put in a discreet bag. You know no good can come of this. <laughs> no, no good. good. <laughs> no good can come of this. Tuesday morning at 10.30 ordering multiple huge bottles of vodka and asking for a discreet bag. You're definitely going to have a rough day. Yes. Alright guys, so we are about halfway through the shift that we plan to work and we are at $93.50. So we're just under where we want to be, but hopefully this next five hours we'll get back up there. Alright guys, so that ended up being a long day. Terrible start. Probably the worst Tuesday of this year so far that I've seen. Tuesday's usually really good, but we started off real bad. So honey, walk us through your day. Okay, so we made $237.69. We worked 11 hours, which gives us $21.60 an hour. We drove 163 miles, Yep. and the gas cost us $24.02. Yep. Now, once again, I want to remind you guys, we do have a 20 mile up and a 20 mile back commute. Our mileage only counts from we're up or dashing. So when you hear that gas number being high, it is strictly because we have that commute. And we don't get paid on that mileage commute unless we actually can get an order from like Grubhub back here to Logan, which we're not doing right now. We're doing all DoorDash. So once again, all the numbers will be at the end of this video. So you know what the breakdown on everything is. We'll go more in depth, but we're just doing our little end of night thing. And it got cold tonight and we had the heat on. And that was another reason why we burned a lot of gas. Right. Cause it is like 20 some degrees outside right now. But we did more deliveries too. Yeah. We did 36 deliveries today. 36 deliveries and did 11 hours. Yes. So now it's time to go inside and eat mm -hmm. and snuggle the pups. And we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, guys. Good morning. Day three. Are we ready to do this, honey? We're ready. All right. We're going to go get day three put through. Honestly, guys, one of the major tips I would give you on the tip of the day today is learn to do your own oil changes. But at minimum, if you won't do that, make sure before you're going out at least every couple days you go check all your fluids under the hood oil if it's an automatic the new transmission fluid brake fluid etc but the biggest single cost that i see dashers deal with is they don't go walk around their cars before they leave to see if they have a low tire not all cars have the dummy light with the sensors a lot do nowadays, but not all. So walk around your car, just see if you have a low tire. It may save you 30 to $60, depending upon whether you catch it in time to patch it or have to replace the tire. Now, checking air pressure in your tires is something we do every week. It actually improves your gas mileage more than people think. So tip of the day, just maintenance and learning to do your own. It'll save you so much money. A standard oil change is 30 to $50 everywhere now. I've got a video out, I'll put it in the description, where I do it for $20. It's synthetic, 
It works great. It's easy to do. Mm -hmm. No complaints. If you're dashing and you're putting out all that money for oil changes, you're going to quickly go broke. Just remember, this is your bread and butter. This is what makes your money. Once take you, care of once it. Once you figure out this makes your money, you'll learn to take care of it. Let's get going, honey. All right. Let's get it done. So 9.1 miles McDonald's for 225, honey. What do we say to that? Heck no. No way. You don't want to drive nine miles for $2.25? That's 18 miles commute one way and back for $2.25. That's not even gonna pay my gas. <laughs> That's better. 1.3 miles for 625 plus. We will take it. You will take it. Yes, I took it. Welcome back, Sonic. This is Tiffany. How can I help you? Yeah, I have a DoorDash for Natalie. Go ahead and pull around, honey. Thank you. So we are halfway through our day again, about five hours in. We are at $108.50. Today has ran pretty smooth, I think. A lot busier than normal, a lot busier than we expected. But definitely been a good day. So we're gonna get back at it. Just wanted to give you a mid-shift update. All right, guys, so we kind of cut out just a shade early because things died down. So, honey, run us through what all happened today. Today was a really good day. We flowed straight from one order to another. We made $193.75. We worked for nine hours, which made us an hourly average of $21.52. We did a little bit less miles today at 121 miles. And our gas was twenty two fifty two, I think. And then how many deliveries? Mm, Thirty two deliveries. So I mean, we were busy, but we weren't like breakneck busy. The times that we usually sit were steady, and then the times that we usually run like crazy were just steady all day, and it just like fell off a cliff at the end. It was actually a really good Wednesday for what it was. Yes, it was. Though so, tomorrow will be the last day, so. We look forward to that because four days straight in the car sucks. Thursdays but are normally good though. We'll see. So we will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So we are at the fourth and final day. Yay. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited. You ready to have it over with? I am ready to have it over with. We do usually take a day off somewhere in between these days. We don't do this every day in a row usually. So this is definitely taxing. But with that said... I'm ready to get out here and get the last day done. Yep. Let's Dashing get is a lot easier when you're not filming. It is. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we got a Myers for 25 items, eight miles for 12.75. Not happening. Yeah, that's that's a bad order. All right, guys. So time for the mid shift update. This is our day four, and we are at ninety dollars and fifty six cents, which is eh, it's I think the least amount we've made all week by mid shift. And this is supposed to be our busiest day of the four days we chose. So I don't know what's going on this week. Everything's backwards. But the tip of the day for me is even when days go bad, even when they start off slow, keep going, push through. You'd be amazed how many days we turn it around and actually make more than we should have just by staying out a little bit longer. All right, guys, so that is it. Day four, complete, done. We made $199.31 in 10 hours. So that is $19.93 an hour. We drove 122 miles and we did 1504 in gas. Now that was 31 deliveries. And now we're gonna go inside, grab some stuff from the store for dinner and we will get back with you guys when we get home with all the totals, everything added up. All right guys, that was a heck of a week. Those four days were supposed to be the slowest days of DoorDash and nothing was right. Tuesdays are usually great, Thursdays are usually great. They were terrible. Wednesdays are usually terrible, it was great. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I mean, I you never this, know what you're gonna get. Truly, but this has been probably the worst four days in a row we've worked this year. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but still, we actually end up doing quite well. So, honey, how much did we make all together over the four days? Eight hundred and twenty-seven dollars and fifty-six cents. And how many deliveries did we do? Um, we did one hundred and twenty-four deliveries. All right, and how many total hours did we put in? We were pushing for forty, but it just kind of comes. We ended out. up doing thirty-nine and a half because with DoorDash, you kind of like end at the end of an order or. Yep. And then how much does that come out to on an hourly basis, honey? $20.95 an hour. So almost $21 an hour for 40 hours straight through DoorDash, basically. All right. So how much did we spend in gas? We spent $79.60 in gas for the entire week. So you guys saw me refilling the tank each day. Now, understand that even in town in my little Honda Fit, I get... 32 miles a gallon or more so take that as we do we get more now that gas is including 20 miles there and 20 miles back that's not that's, in the mileage that's what i was going to say that's including all of that's our including commute. our commute but to be fair most people that live down here usually commute out to work somewhere so moving forward with that honey let's talk about how we figured out how you figure out taxes and what we came up with. So we do the standard mileage deduction. So we did 537 miles. So we times that by the standard deduction and then we subtracted that amount off of our total, which left us with $494.62. That is an actual taxable amount. Yep. So now, to make it simple, you're, you got like $60 in taxes on this but if you're doing DoorDash you're probably going to be in that 12% category I mean unless you're really banging some numbers 
Right. I mean, I can't see. No. So when you do the standard deduct, that has to come off that too. So that's what I can't make people understand. Compared to a W-2 job, being able to write off all those miles just wipes out your taxes at the end of the year. Big difference. If you record your mileage and do it correctly, then it, you can wipe out a bunch of your taxes. Now, so what does that mean for our total take home pay? So that means our total to take home pay is $688.61. That is after our paying off our gas and paying our taxes. So, 40 hour work week, basically, and we did 688. So, I would I would ask you to look at this if you're talking about doing this full time, which is honestly what we do now. Mm -hmm. I would say each market's different, each person's bills are gonna be different, each person's vehicle and their gas mileage they get is gonna be different. But yes, I I think you can do it full time. We've done it in North Carolina, we've done it in northern Ohio, we've done it in southern Ohio, we've done it a little bit in Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. I mean, everywhere we go, there's orders to be had. They may not be these great ones. And you may have to grind, but you can make the money if you want to. I totally think that it's doable. Yeah, I mean, you're going to find certain markets you can't. And you made a good point earlier when we were talking about this, is if your person's got a huge car payment, a huge house payment, this may not work for you. This may not supply enough income. It may, or may be better to go get a regular 9 to 5 job. Now, I did look up in the town we were dashing in what the average pay is. That means average from highest to lowest hourly. And the average in that town is $17 an hour. So we actually made more than the average of the whole town door dashing. Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to make this clear that I ran the camera and did some driving. But Missy, this is all her orders. This is all on her door dash. She had to deliver everything. You know, I didn't pick up everything. So I could go out and mirror what she just did, and we would right now have sixteen hundred dollars as a couple. So sixteen. Oh yeah. Yeah, sixteen. Before well, taxes before taxes. So you got six eighty eight. You could times that by two. We'd have thirteen some after taxes and gas. Thirteen hundred dollars and some for a couple for a week for four days, guys. Four ten hour days. Which for us is plenty enough money we don't need to be making no crazy amounts yeah we have both properties paid off all of our cars paid off and we have other things that bring in cash like dividends a little tiny bit from youtube <laughs> um is the backpacking channel even making money anymore i made ten dollars this month <laughs> but yeah we get a few dollars from people using amazon links and much more now if you want to sign up for doordash they're doing a heck of a deal right now we will put our links in the description click those links you do so many within 60 days you get a big fat chunk of cash mm, it's really high right now yeah it's crazy but with that said we do think that this is a option and especially if you're someone that has maybe uh, another adult in the house working and you're wanting to utilize certain time slots you have open, or maybe if your job's not giving you the freedom. Honestly, that's why we do this gig app stuff because we can go work when we want for as long as we want. If we're having a bad day, we can just stop and go home. Nobody tell us. And we can get up and go on vacations, backpacking, do the things we want to do every day, anytime we want. If I like my coworker, I take him with me. If I don't, I leave him at home. But my wife has done an amazing job this <laughs> week, working her little tail off. I'm going to go make her wings right now Aww. and give her a nice dinner. But remember the tips. Because, honey, how much do we spend on eating out this week? Nothing. Zero. How much do we spend on drinks or coffee or candy or other stuff? Zero. That means all that money's ours, guys. The biggest smasher to gig apps is spending money while you're out instead of being prepared. Take your drinks, take your coffee, take your food, make sure you're getting up every day to do it because that's how you'll save the money that you're making. And with that said, and I don't know why you wouldn't have buy her already. Come on guys, we just went through 40 hours, four days of filming DoorDash for you. So go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos. Make sure you give us a like, let us know in the comments what you think and let us know if you want to see more videos like this on gig work 
and maybe I'll convince my wife to do this again in the near future, but maybe not. <laughs> and honey, we will see you in the next one. Now, are you ready for me to make you dinner? I am starving. <laughs> Let's go eat. <laughs>